right, and the next thing I want to do is focus on rail. And one of the things I know that I'm going to want to do is relocate these two buildings here. This is a large uh, log yard. So let's place this over here, and then let's do the same thing with this one. See if we can find a spot right there. Perfect. I think what I can do is thread the railroad tracks behind here and then have it follow the coast for a bit and then meander up like this and then meet its way up here to connect with the main rail junction. And before I do that, I'm looking at this and I'm noticing that we're having some backups with our traffic, just like a little bit. And so what I wanna do is go into our traffic routes and then go to junctions and then I'm gonna turn these off for the time being. And we'll just make this a stop sign and we'll make that a stop sign. All right, perfect. One of the things I do know that I want over here is a regular train station for the citizens and a cargo train station. So what I'm gonna do is create sort of two roadway systems, one for the train station itself, one for the main train station, and then another for the cargo train station. And I'm gonna start with the cargo train station first. And what I wanna do is use a two lane road for this. And so for this, I'm gonna come up to say about here and come across, we don't need anything super far, maybe about here and then bring it down like that. And then let's go ahead and place our cargo train terminal. All right, perfect. And then for the regular train system, I'm just gonna extend this road, but I'm gonna do it with a tram road. That way in the future, we can upgrade some roads through here and provide tram access all the way over here to the train station. So let's go in and select our train station and we'll place this here. And now we have unlocked access to our train tracks. So I wanna go ahead and link up these two. And then maybe what I'll do is create a parallel track on this side and then provide a connection from here to here. That way, if there are issues with the cargo train terminal, we don't have to rely on that. And I realized I just placed the wrong train station. <laughs> so I want this one, the actual train station. Let's put that there. And then I'm gonna redo this section over here. It's a good thing we have a, a decent amount of money because <laughs> making all sorts of mistakes right now, but th that's okay. Then I think that'll do well for the trains here. It's gonna be a very low speed environment, so I'm okay with the junctions being a little bit more angular here. Um, I think that'd be fine. But yeah, as I was saying, it'd be nice to have this sidetrack here. That way we can bypass anything with the cargo train terminal in the future. So let's go ahead and get water over here. And I'll just connect this up like this. And then we'll come across like that and we'll come down all the way there. All right, perfect. Everything else in the city seems to be doing fine. We're not having any power issues. Awesome. So now I'm gonna go through and lay our track from all the way over here to over here. And before I do this, I'm gonna cut on terrain so that way I can have a good guideline along the coast to see what I'm doing. And before I finish uh, this up, I know I'm gonna have the train be on this side because right now I can't really put it over here. And so what I'm gonna need to do is create a bridge section right here, and then have the train go underneath like this and then come across and then tie up over here. Okay, I'm gonna have to rethink this. So I think what we're gonna do is get rid of all this and then just have a connection that goes straight across and then meets up at a 90 like that. All right, I think that's looking way better. And honestly, this will probably make better sense in the future because having a big sweeping curve like that um, is probably not gonna be conducive to how we're gonna develop the city in the future. So I think this is gonna work out just fine. Now I need to tie up this portion of the railroad track here, down here, up to all the way over there. The first thing I wanna do is slope. So I'm gonna grab the slope tool and I know I'm gonna want to meet up somewhere in about here. So right click there, and then come from here, and then we'll sweep around like that. And then from here, I'll come over this far and try and line up to where I made that turn, and then roughly get something that gets through the middle there. Nice, that looks really good, I like that. So now we can get something that sweeps over here like this. 
All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. And for our rail bridge, I'm not gonna be as intense with this one in terms of like the grading on each side, but I am gonna have an elevated section so that ships can pass through. All right, and I think that looks pretty good. This is definitely a little bit lower, but I think I went a little high on this side, so I think that'd be fine. And then over here, I'm probably gonna have to go underneath. I think that might make more sense. And to make this work, I think I'm gonna have to uh, tunnel under here. So let's go ahead and get that started. And to place a tunnel, you have to hit like the page down button and then it'll start creating a tunnel underneath. And let's see if we can get something that comes under like that. And I wonder if I can come off, actually let's back this up a little bit because I'd like to make these connections a little sooner. So let's turn on the curved row tool and then let's see if we can get something that comes over roughly to about here. Then for the time being, I'm gonna connect up with this one. It looks pretty bad, but we're gonna kind of roll with that uh, for right now. Once I get this tile over here, I'm gonna fix some of the uh, issues that we have here. And then over here, let's get this one connected up as well. All right, that looks pretty good. And then, so over here, I just have a few things I wanna to touch up on, and then we're gonna close out today's episode. So from here, I want to bring this over and connect it like that, so the tracks can meet back up again. And I wanna upgrade some of the roads here in our forestry industry. All right, excellent, so that's looking pretty good. So with our train station, we have not had any passengers yet. I'm hoping that since we have inner city trains allowed that this is gonna change in the future, especially as we uh, connect up transit to this in uh, coming episodes. But as you can see also, the cargo train terminal is starting to get some activity now. So the whole idea of this with this little loop is that trucks can come in here, then go on the loop and then go into the cargo train terminal and then turn around and then get back to where they need to go. And I think also this is our first train. Um, I think <laughs> actually let's pause and see if I can grab the train. Yeah, so it's 100% full. I think the problem actually now that I'm thinking about it is with this is that we did not have our trains connected up over here to the greater system, so there was no need to have inner city travel. So I think that's gonna change things for us in the future. All right, so we did a lot today. We had some challenges for sure. Um, <laughs> that's an understatement. But the main goal of today's episode was to get this roadway connected up over here and then to also get this railroad connected up over here to the main line. And so we've done that and I'm pretty pleased with that. Some of the aesthetics through here are challenging because you're playing a vanilla build and that's just some of the limitations that you have with a vanilla, but I'm probably going to be coming back to this in the future and making some changes that affect how things are looking. But for right now, I think this is going to serve us well. And I want to take a look at our traffic just to see how it is. Yeah, and we're back up to 90%, which is awesome. Hopefully some of the traffic will start using this area and it already seems like they appear to be, which is good. And overall, this will have a positive effect on our community, especially as we develop up this way. And who knows, maybe we'll have a third bridge that goes across right here somewhere. Um, I think that could be a cool idea. But with that, I think it's gonna do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed today's video, please think about subscribing. That would really, really help me out. Also leave a comment down below how you think I should address this area in the future. I think for right now, it's functionally okay and things are working fine. But overall, I, I do think I'm gonna make some changes here in the future. So if you have any thoughts on that, leave that down in the comments below. Also, please like the video as well. That would really, really help me out. But I hope you all are doing well and I'm looking forward to seeing you all back here in Carnar C. So stay tuned for future episodes and I'll see you in the next one. All right.